Good morning. Old people here in Sweden, well, people older than I am, right? I think in general they have these principles about the news and the authorities. They listen to the news and they say, this is how I get my information. And it's not all true, but this is what I get, you know, and I listen. And then it's the authorities. Of course, there's lots of exceptions to this, but in general, the elderly, they are listening to the authorities. And if the authorities say something, they consider this the truth. So this is what they do. They follow the recommendations. It's a principle. Right. You know, I got very upset with my father. I'm still upset with it. Because I know he's a smart man. You know? if, he, if he was an idiot, I wouldn't be this upset about it. I don't think so. But he's a smart guy. And I tried to talk to him. And he considered me a fool. You know? It was impossible to talk to him. So, I'm quite sad about it, actually. So he took all the doses, all of them. I think he would take, you know, if they recommended him to take 200 of them, maybe he would do it, you know. So, yeah, that's how it is. Now, I saw this, and I was very surprised about it. A public health agency here in Sweden they made recommendations for the elderly on how many doses they should take this year. And they said, you should, have, you should have one this spring and then another one next fall or the coming fall. Right? So two, two of them this year. And now I saw this, very surprising. All, this is uh, numbers from Stockholm, right? the capital city. Only a little more than 20% of the elderly took it. So four out of five said no. And there was this chief physician in Stockholm who said, it's a problem in the whole country to get this group to take another dose. And they complain about all these doses lying around in stores. Right? Wow. So what does it mean? Well, it must mean that the information is getting to the elderly. And it's not coming from media. We know this. 100% certain about this one. They are not getting this information from media or the authorities. No. But the information must be getting to them somehow. And I think it's the stories. You know? They hear stories. It's word of mouth. They're getting, getting it from their kids, or friends, or grandchildren. The stories about what happened to people. Maybe there was a granddaughter who got a miscarriage, or, you know, all these stories. So they are starting to question it now. Well, this is a big breakthrough. <laughs> That's what I think. You know, when the elderly who only listen to the news and trust the authorities, when they start to have doubts, well, well, it's a breakthrough, isn't it? So we come a long way with this. It's from the people, that's where it's coming from. And now apparently it means something. And I think it means something because it's so terrible, you know. If it was just a little thing, a minor thing, well, they wouldn't pay attention. But now the elderly are paying attention because it's terrible what's going on. That's my theory. You know, I was lo looking at this guy, Josh Sterling. He's a top insurance analyst, right? And he was looking at UK government health data. And he said this. This was his conclusion. 600,000 Americans per year are dying from the T. That's a huge number. 600. I did some calculation. 
it's about 2,000 a day. So you would say, well, there must be a war going on, right? <laughs> people are dying on the battlefield. 2,000 people a day are dying. And media is not talking about it. Must be a war between the United States and Trudeau. <laughs> you know? Nothing in media, basically. That's how it is. All right. Be good.